All right, in this video, I want to show you how to do composition reactions. Now, these can also be called synthesis reactions. They could also be called combination reactions. Um, but for our purposes, I'm going to call them composition reactions. Now, they all follow the same format. A plus X yields AX. A and X can be elements or compounds on the reactant side. On the uh, product side, they're only going to be one compound on this side. So we have two things coming together to make a compound. Now, if you look below, I have six very common situations that you could be in for composition reactions. Now, I also have a note sheet that goes with this, and you'll want to have that out as we're going through the examples. And or you can copy down these six, and then when we get to later examples, you can use that as reference when we're going through problems. Okay, so here's some examples. So we want to first write out the formulas for what's given. So rubidium is just Rb, and oxygen is O2. Now, the general format is A plus X yields AX. So I know I'm going to be putting these two things together as one thing on the right-hand side. And if you look at what's given, this is exactly like example number one, where I have an element reacting with oxygen. So I bring one of each over, so rubidium and oxygen, and I want to cross the charges. Oxygen has a 2 plus charge, or 2 minus charge, and rubidium has a 1 plus charge. So I want to cross those charges. So that 2 goes down here, and that 1 goes over here. But I don't need to write the 1. And that's my formula. So now once I have the formulas written, I just want to balance the equation. So I have one rubidium and two rubidiums, and I have two oxygens and one oxygen. So I'm going to put a two there to take care of the oxygens, and a four there to take care of my rubidiums. Now let's try the next example. So I have sodium, which is Na, plus fluorine, which is F2. Again, this is just like number two on my sheet, so I want to bring one of each over, and I want to cross the charges. So sodium has a one charge, fluorine has a minus one, I cross, and that's the formula. So now I just need to balance, so I need a two there, and a two there. Now for my last formula, I was given barium oxide, which is BAO, plus water. This one's a little harder, and I'm going to rely a little bit more on those uh, examples on the previous page. So, this is a metallic oxide and water. So, according to my notes, it says a metallic oxide and water produces a metallic hydroxide. So, I want to locate the metal here, which is barium, and I want to cross it with hydroxide. Barium has a plus two charge, and hydroxide has a one minus, so I cross, so I need parentheses, and I have to put a two on the outside. Now that gives me two oxygens, but I have two on this side, and two hydrogens, but I have two on the other side, so that's balanced. So for composition reactions, you're going to want to use your notes as a comparison to help you write out those products. If you have any other questions about composition reactions, just make sure to ask in class.